Hey what's happening guys, welcome to your 24th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about route parameters in Express. Okay then, so we've set up our Express app right here and we've responded to some get requests. But at the minute we're just responding to these kind of static requests, you know, forward slash contact, forward slash home, forward slash about. But what if I wanted some kind of dynamic request? For example, say we had a social network site and one particular route would be forward slash profile, forward slash the ID of that profile. Now, I wouldn't want to go and create a method for each ID and then respond to each ID separately. I want to recognize when someone is requesting a profile page and then grab that ID from the URL so we can do something with it. And we can do that by using route variables or route parameters. So let's go ahead and create another get method, which is going to respond to a particular request. Let's say app.get, and then it's going to be forward slash profile. So we want to view a profile, and then we want to view, for example, the ID of the profile. So we can say colon and then ID. So it might be profile forward slash one, two, three. Okay. And then that ID may correspond to a particular person in a database. So we could make some kind of database query and then return that data from the database and inject it into our HTML and return that to the user. Now, this is all a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'm just showing you these route parameters for now. But when we create our own application later, our own to do list, then we're going to be doing something similar to this. We're going to be querying a database by using a route parameter. So for now, let's just leave it at that. We'll fire a function, which again is going to take the request object and the response object. And then we can actually access this ID that the user input, the user requested on this request object. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to say, okay, so response Dot send and we're going to send some text back to the user and I'm going to say you requested to see a profile with the ID of then we're going to concatenate something to this and it's going to be this ID here so how do we access it well we access it on this request object so let's say request dot and then the property is params and that's going to store this parameter in it and we just need to say the parameter name, which is dot ID. So if I save this now and put a colon there, like so, okay, the app crashed. And that's because I forgot my little comma right here as well. So let's save that again. And finally, it's starting node app.js. So now we can go ahead and open this in a browser. And if we say forward slash profile, forward slash one, two, three, that's the ID. Then it says you requested to see a profile with the ID of one, two, three, and let's change this. Nine, four, three, seven, whatever. And it brings that back to us. So we've, uh, we've successfully accessed this variable or this parameter that we've passed through on our request by using request.params. Pretty cool that. So this could be any name you want. I could say profile and then the name and let's output the name instead. So if we save that and come back to the browser, and this time let's say crystal. And it says you requested to see a profile with the ID of crystal, or rather we should put with the name of crystal. Save that and refresh. And now we get it. And the same for any other person. I could say Yoshi or Ryu. And we're going to get back this parameter that we requested. So this is a really cool way to set up routes when the routes may be dynamic and change, but it's still got this same kind of structure. They're all profiles. So it's saying look for when profile is in the URL, then forward slash something, and then bring me back that something on the params. And I'm going to do some uh, something with it, maybe query a database and then return some data dependent on it. 
So there we go guys, that is route parameters in action. And again, we're gonna be using these later on as well. This is more a kind of introduction to them. Any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.